Hey everyone, today we are talking clam chowder. And not just any clam chowder, New England clam chowder. So up in the northeast part of the United States here, we have basically three types of clam chowder. The first is Manhattan clam chowder, and that's tomato-based, and it's delicious, but it's not quite my favorite. Then as you go up into New England, we have Rhode Island clam chowder, and that's made with a clear broth instead of the tomatoes like in Manhattan. And that too, very good, don't get me wrong, I like it a lot, but again, not my favorite clam chowder. My favorite is when you get up into New England a little further, into the Boston region, and there you have Boston clam chowder, otherwise known as New England clam chowder, and up there they'll even call it chowder. And to me, that epitomizes what clam chowder should be. It's a cream-based, thicker clam chowder, absolutely delicious, warms you up on a nice cold day like today, cold winter day, or up in New England you have those cold nights even during the summertime. So today stick around for my favorite clam chowder, and that's New England clam chowder. You're gonna love this one. Today's recipe begins with four slices of thick cut bacon. And yes, I prefer thick cut bacon because I think it holds up better in the chowder itself. If you use thin cut bacon, you might want to use more like six slices. But if you can, get the thick cut bacon and dice it into small cubes, just like I'm doing here. Then into a pot it goes over medium heat and our chowder has begun. Next thing we're gonna do is dice up a medium-sized onion or about a half of a large onion like I have here. And we're gonna dice up one large stalk of celery, just like so. And we're gonna cut up two medium Yukon gold potatoes. You could really use any sort of boiling potatoes you like here. And we're just going to do a smallish dice, maybe about a centimeter square. And now our bacon has rendered. It is nice and crispy. I really love using this thick cut bacon. It just, it works so well with this chowder. I'm going to take a slotted spoon and remove that bacon, leaving the bacon fat in our pot. because that's what we're gonna cook our onion and celery in. Vegetables cooked in bacon fat. Now we're making chowder. So while the vegetables are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and open up four cans of chopped clams. Into one bowl, I'm gonna pour out the juice and reserve that and into another bowl, I'm going to put our clams. And we'll do that with all four cans. You should have a good amount of juice and a good amount of clams. Once the onion and celery have softened, we're gonna go ahead and add our potatoes. A little bit of salt, some fresh ground black pepper, Old Bay seasoning always goes well with seafood. Some chili pepper flakes. And some dried herbs. I'm using Herbs de Provence, my favorite. And now we'll add in two tablespoons of flour. And you're gonna wanna stir this around for about a minute while it cooks, making sure the flour doesn't burn on the bottom of your pot. Next, we're gonna add in the clam juice that we had reserved, one bottle of bottled clam juice, and eight ounces of chicken broth, or you could use another bottle of clam juice, it's up to you. Next, we're gonna bring this to a boil for about 15 to 20 minutes until our potatoes are fork tender. Then once our potatoes are fork tender, we're gonna go ahead and add in our clams. that delicious crispy bacon. 
and a cup and a half of half and half. We'll stir this around and let this simmer for a few minutes and we'll be ready to serve. And my favorite way to finish off any chowder or stew is with a nice big dollop of butter right at the end. And I use Kerrygold salted butter all the time. I think it's the best butter you can get. And we'll just let this butter melt and then we'll serve up a chowder. And now just grab a ladle and your favorite bowl. Give it a little stir. Make sure you get some of those clams and that bacon, the potatoes, the onion, the celery, as well as some of that piping hot broth. I mean, this is my favorite chowder. This is New England clam chowder. And on a cold night, it really just doesn't get any better than this. Okay, so here we have New England clam chowder and no self-respecting clam chowder can be served without a couple of packets of oyster crackers. You have to have these. This is a mandatory. If you go to Boston, this is what you're gonna find. Let's go right into the chowder. And now for the taste. Piping hot, we've got a little bacon in there, some celery. It's salty, it's got that clam flavor, the bacon, and now the oyster cracker. Mmm. Ooh, that's hot. So good, piping hot. You can see why up in New England, in the Boston area, yeah, up in Maine, it gets really cold even in the summer at night. You can see why this is so popular. This is just warm and, and delicious. Mm. That is great. If you like this recipe, please leave a like Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when new videos come out. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on New England clam chowder. And of course, keep on cooking. That's delicious. Give that a try.